Hello, this is the Ben Bin Fro Thought for the Day for Thursday the 5th of January and the reading is from John's Gospel chapter 2 verses 13 to 25 and I'm reading from the NIV. When it was almost time for the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple court he found people selling cattle, sheep and doves and others sitting at table exchanging money. So he made a whip out of cords and drove all from the temple courts, both sheep and cattle. He scattered the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. To those who sold doves, he said, get these out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a market. His disciples remembered that it is written, zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then responded to him, what sign can you show us to prove your authority to, to do all this? And Jesus answered them, destroy this temple and I will raise it again in three days. And they replied, it has taken 46 years to build this temple and you are going to raise it in three days. But the temple he had spoken of was his body. And after he was raised from the dead, his disciples recalled what he had said. And then they believed the scripture and the words that Jesus had spoken. Now, while he was in Jerusalem at the Passover festival, Many people saw the signs he was performing and believed in his name. But Jesus would not entrust himself to them, for he knew all people. He did not need any testimony about mankind, for he knew what was in each person. Well, this reading is an account of the first of two times when Jesus clears the temple of miscreants. On this occasion, he removes the livestock being sold within the temple and then disperses the money from the money changers. He's then asked by what authority he has done this and responds in, well, in a theological manner, more of which later in this thought. It seems the reading is actually in two parts. The first one addresses the misuse of the temple, the profiting by some individuals from others who felt they had to part with the goods because of the need to believe. And this leads to corruption. We can see this through the ages, possibly most obviously with the need for 14th and 15th century Catholics to pay indulgences to the priesthood, one of the church practices Martin Luther was so keen on stopping. And in modern times, there does seem to be an unnecessarily large church central bureaucracy in a number of Christian organisations with the local parishes being squeezed by the centre's demands. Is this a sign of mild corruption as defined by Jesus in this passage? The second part of the reading considers the theology. Jesus says the temple, after it is destroyed, will be rebuilt in three days, a statement met with disbelief as the temple took many years to build. With hindsight, we can easily understand what is meant. The temple can be interpreted as Jesus' body rather than the man-made earthly temple building itself. Jesus' body is, of course, res resurrected three days after its crucifixion, or if you like, destruction. But until the resurrection, it is very reasonable for everyone to not understand this statement. But after the resurrection, the meaning was clear to all the disciples. The reading finishes with Jesus demonstrating his knowledge that he knows some people's faith is superficial. Many people believed in his name, but Jesus would not entrust himself to them, for he knew all people. This also was proven later, when the same people who claimed to believe in Jesus at this time would later demand he was crucified. The same concern about superficial faith is true today. How many people turn away because the meaning of the Bible is not very important, or because it is too difficult to understand? Well, that concludes my thought for the day. Uh, thank you for listening and have a good day.